Maybe that was the point. You go through the middle of the doors and you just see you don't know which choice you've picked. I don't know. That was weird. Again, I'm not sure about the, the chronological order of everything or <laughs> really, in fact, what the hell was going on. Maybe that was the point. Maybe it's, it wasn't supposed to make any, like, like, sequential sense, so to speak. But it did bring up a lot of good points in it about, like, what it's like to go through these things. Especially the one where it's, like, people telling you how to be. Um, because when you're going through different scenarios in life, whether it be the extremes of what this was showing or just anything at all, uh, pe people like to try and tell you how to live your own life. And sometimes they mean the absolute best for you. Sometimes it's friends or family who want to tell you, like, what they think is best for you. Sometimes they're putting in when they shouldn't be, but sometimes they actually just have some solid reasoning for doing it. And other times it's just people who project or try to tell you how to live your life because of what they think. Or they project some sort of image about you onto you and then they're like, no, you should do this. And try to, like, live a certain aspect of their life through you or whatever. Whatever reasons they have for telling you how to do it. But as it, like, showed in the game that they don't know everything. Even the people who have their your best interests, interests at heart, they don't know everything. They don't know everything you're going through. So, them telling you how to live things is like much easier said than done. Like the people who talk to depressive people and they're like, just stop being sad. Like, just go out and like, be with your friends. Just go out and take a walk. It's like, that's not always going to help. Sometimes they mean it in the best way possible. Like, I feel for you. I don't know how, how else to express this. I don't know how else to help. But, like, I'm trying my best. And sometimes people misstep. So you can't really blame them. But at the same time, Sometimes all people want to do is be listened to. Sometimes all people want to do is just be in the same room as somebody else so they're not alone, sort of thing. They don't always need a quick fix solution. They don't always need like, oh, do this, do that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, a lot of topics going on there. Um, a lot of stuff that I am not qualified to talk about. A lot of stuff that I don't have first-hand experience with either. Um, so it kind of, I don't know, it always feels kind of misguided of me, or it always feels, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I, I don't know, it always feels inappropriate of me to be giving advice on these types of things. Like, people message me very frequently and ask me, like, how do you, how should I deal with depression? How should I deal with being sad all the time? How should I, how do I become more happy? How do I deal with suicidal thoughts? Those types of things. I, I never know whether some people are actually serious, whether other people just say it because they want attention. And that's really the fine line in this sort of position because I, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, act upon it in a certain way like, oh, this person's just faking this because they want me to answer them kind of thing. They should always be treated with seriousness. They should always be treated with, like, absolute seriousness that maybe these this person actually is going through this and I don't want to ma make fun of this I don't want to like say you're just looking for attention when really they're not or anything like that, but <sighs> I don't know All I can say is that if you are going through stuff like this if you are going through depression if you are sad all the time if you wake up in the mornings and you just don't want to do anything if you just because that's what it is a lot of people say depression is feeling sad but the people who are actually depressed a lot of them will say no depression is feeling nothing that like in either end of the spectrum that when something sad happens you don't feel sad when something extremely positive happens or something that you should feel happy for happens you don't feel happy either and that's the thing like they know they should be happy but they're not feeling happy and that's the kind of thing, and it just, it gets inside your head then, that you don't know what's going on. Again, this is all from anecdotal experience. It's all from hearsay. It's all from listening and reading up upon it, and trying to learn as much as I can to try and help people who maybe are going through these things. Um, again, I'm not an authority on these types of things, so anything I say should not be taken as fact. It should be taken as just my thoughts, my experiences on these things, 
my best intentions on these things. They should not be taken as absolute 100% this is what you should do kind of thing, but just know that if you are going through these things, that there are people out there who can help. A lot of people who are sad or depressed or just feel like they're at the end of their tether feel like there's absolutely nobody out there. There always is. There's always somebody that you can go to, whether it be uh, an organization or family or friends. Um, some people out there might not have any friends. Some people out there might not have a family who will listen to these types of things or think, ah, you're just sad. You'll be fine. Kind of thing. And don't listen to them. But just, just know, just please think before you do anything. Please think about the people in your life. Please think about what could be. Um, and don't make any rash decisions about anything. Uh, because a lot of stuff can happen in the moment. A lot of stuff can happen in just that quick blink of an eye. That quick just po point of reasoning and then you do something that you can't ever take back. And usually it's in those moments... Okay, it's gonna get heavy for a minute, but I, I did read a, a Reddit thread one time about people who tried to commit suicide and didn't. Who failed. Or who decided against it. And it was always a case of... A very recurring theme in them was people saying, I, I tried to hang myself or something. I tried to take pills and then my body fought through it. I passed out, I woke up again. And my body was like trying to like pull the rope or something. I know this is very, it's getting very specific because these are very broad like scenarios, but this, these were just the things I was reading and it was like the body's will to live is incredibly strong. And the people who came out of these things were like, most of them said, I'm so glad I did not go through with that. I'm so glad that my body fought for me when my brain or my just personality couldn't. Um... I don't know, this is stuff that people aren't, like, <laughs> used to seeing on this type of channel. Like, I've, I've done stuff like this before, and I don't, want to see, I don't want it to seem like a thing where I think I know what I'm talking about, or pandering to people or whatever. It's just, it's, it's stuff that you read a lot, and it's stuff that, because of doing YouTube, I've heard a lot of people talk about. I get a lot of messages about it, so I want to try and, like, learn or grow and understand these things. Like, as a person who's not gone through them. So maybe I can help people. I, I don't know. Um, again, I got very serious all of a sudden. Um, but just just know that anything can happen in, in the moment. And all it takes is a slight moment of clarity to pull you out of something that could be absolutely disastrous. Um, and I don't want to say that everyone who's going through depression is suicidal because that's not the case either. But there are people out there who are going through the same thing as you. You might think you're absolutely alone and that nobody will understand anything you're going through. But there's always somebody going through the same stuff as you. Because as, as I've heard people say, we're all the same person at the end of the day. We're all human. We're all the same sort of basic chemistry as each other. So any sort of, any sort of like prism of emotions, prism of things that you can go through is the exact same as the amount of prisms that another person can go through, they're just maybe not going through it right now. Like, everyone has the capability of going through the same stuff as each other. So, if you're going through absolute sadness, you definitely, you 100% have the capability of turning that around and going through absolute joy. All it takes is reaching out to some people every now and then, or maybe... I don't know, it's, it's, again, it's not always as easy as just going, oh, reach out to people. Again, I'm doing what the game was saying. And it's not always that easy, so I apologize for that, but... I, I, I don't know. I, I have good intentions with what I say, but again... I don't really... I, I, it's, it's misguided because I'm living all of this through other people. And again, I haven't gone through it myself. So I'm curious how this game represented some things. Like, does it get to the extreme where... You just, like, all logic goes out the window and it feels like you're living in a dream constantly? Sort of thing? Do your dreams actually get that bad? So, I I'm curious. And I, w I want this community to be a place. I know a lot of the videos I do is like bombastic, yelling, swearing, lots of like murder and stuff going on in games and all that. And it's all very silly at times. But I do like to bring it back to a point 
with these types of games. Because I have played a lot of these games in the past and I don't want to try and pigeonhole myself into all that yelling and everything. Where I feel like I can't do these types of things anymore or feel like I can open up or feel like I can open up an outlet or a medium for you. For a lot of people that is the way it is that you do anything for your child after they're born and you instantly fall in love with them because it's your child. But for some people it's not that case. For some people they see their child for the first time and they feel completely disconnected with them. They don't feel like it's their child, they don't love them the way society has told them that they should love them. And then when they get home they just get annoyed with the child because it's crying all the time and they don't feel like they can do enough for them. And that really... What the hell? Oh, that was making noise. I didn't know what the hell the noise was coming from, it freaked me out. A lot of people then end up falling into depression very easily because of that, because it, things aren't going the way the way that it was imagined to them, the way society has told them that things would go, and then there are stories of people um, killing their own kids because of that kind of stuff, and that's horrible. But this deals with that in a very real way, and I know the last episode I didn't really take it probably as seriously as I should have, but the stuff that happens at the end of this is scary, and it has happened to people in the real world, so... Like, if any of you out there have had kids or are going to have kids or have kids in the future and you feel that kind of stuff that you feel like you're not as connected to your child as you could be or as you should be or as you think society tells you that you should be that that's normal for some people like it's not the end of the world it's not anything crazy it's not something like there's nothing wrong with you if you feel that way is what I'm trying to say that you can get help for that kind of stuff and there are people out there who have felt the same way as you have felt and there are people who can help you in a very real way and if you have to take medication for it or if you just have to take medication for depression in general anyway that does not mean there's something wrong with you it does not mean you're weak it does not mean that you're not normal or anything like that it's just some people have it harder to get through these things than other people do so just keep that in mind that depression is a very real thing that millions of people go through and they deal with it in various different ways so some people deal with it very easily some people have an extremely hard time with it but there are people out there that can help you with it and just seek that help to try and get through it the lady in this game went to the extreme ends of everything because she had her child it wasn't the way she thought it was going to be she lost her partner everything just seemed to go wrong so it seems like she ended up killing her child which is a horrible outcome for this kind of stuff, so just uh, please seek help if you think that there's no more that you can do for yourself or you think that stuff is the worst it could ever be, that there always is help out there. And I don't want to see anybody take these actions that they can't take back to do something that they're going to regret, whether it be to themselves or to be to somebody else or stuff like that. So please, you're not alone and keep fighting through it. And if if any of you out there are struggling right now and my videos can help distract you from that kind of stuff for 20 minutes, for 15 minutes, whatever long the video is, if I can help distract you or help you smile during that period of time when nothing else can make you smile or make you happy, then that is the best compliment I could ever get for my content. So thank you so much for being here and just leave my videos on in the background sometimes if you're feeling lonely. I will be your friend for the day. I will be there to help you through whatever you're going through, so I'm spitting everywhere. So just thank you guys for being here with me because I know if you guys weren't here with me every day, I know that I'd be a lot sadder than I am now, so thank you as well.